Hi friends, in this video, we are going to see how to apply solution theorem in a circuit which consists of dependent as well as independent sources together. So here is the problem. In this problem, Vx is maintained across 5 ohm and that we are supposed to get using solution theorem. And based on this Vx, there is a current source which we call as a voltage dependent current source present in the circuit along with two independent sources. So let's solve. So in first place, I'm considering 20 volt acting alone. What we need to do for the 10 ampere uh, being a current source, we will open circuit 8. So 10 ampere is open circuit 8. So if I open circuit this 10 ampere, this branch will go and we will get only two loops present in the circuit. So the circuit will look like this. A 20 volt acting alone. All the resistances will be there. So we will get circuit like this. This is Vx dash upon 2. This is 2 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, and we'll have this voltage given by them. So I will encircle its polarity Vx dash. Two meshes are there, so we will get two currents. I1 and I2. Depending upon the current direction, we will get the voltages across all the registers. So, despite of a polarity given by them, still we will mark our own polarity because this has been caused by the I1. And for the I2, we will get voltage polarities like this. Now we are ready to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to mesh number one. So, apply. KVL to mesh 1. Let's start with the voltage source. So minus plus. So it's a 20 plus minus minus 4 I1. Just concentrate on the polarity developed by R currents. So plus minus minus 5 I1 minus plus plus 5 I2 equal to 0. Upon simplifying, we will get equation minus 9i1 plus 5i2 equal to minus 20 as equation number 1. Let's get one more equation by applying KVL to mesh number 2. Now, can we apply KVL to mesh number 2? The answer is no. Why so? Because uh, only current source is present in the circuit. So this is not required. What we can do? Only current source is present. That means I can straight away write this I2 as Vx dash upon 2. So let over here, no need to apply KVL. The only problem is that Vx dash is not a variable in our list. We are having the variables I1 and I2 only. So we need a substitution equation. So substitution equation for Vx dash. Now pay attention. Vx dash is nothing but voltage across 5 ohm. The thing is that this voltage across 5 ohm is nothing but a 5 multiplied by current flowing through 5 ohm. Now 5 ohm has two currents in it. I1 downward direction, I2 upward direction. So definitely it's a subtraction of two currents. Which current we will take as first? 
it all depends upon the given polarity given polarity is matching with this polarity hence the current which causes this polarity is a dominant over other current so this polarity is caused by i1 so i can say vh dash is nothing but phi current i1 will be dominating so i1 and i2 is opposing i1 so this phi I1 minus I2 as a substitution equation. So if I substitute this over here, I will get I2 as 5 by 2 I1 minus I2. So upon solving, rather simplifying, I will get a equation over here as 2.5 I1 minus 3.5 i2 equal to 0 as equation number 2. So we are having these two equations. If you solve these two equations, we will get the value of i1 and i2. So we will get i1 as three point six eight four two ampere and I2 as 2.6316 ampere. But what we are supposed to get? We are supposed to get Vx. And Vx for this, it will be Vx dash, nothing but phi times I1 minus I2. So I can say Vx dash is phi times I1 minus I2. If I substitute the value of I1, and I2 and solve for the Vx dash, I will get the answer 5.263 volt. This will be Vx dash. So we have done the analysis by taking 20 volt acting alone. Now we are going to consider a circuit where 10 ampere is acting alone. So we need to short circuit the voltage source present in the circuit. So let me write the statement. So for a second analysis, I will consider 10 ampere is acting alone. What will happen to 20 volt? 20 volt being a voltage source will be short circuited. So we will get a new circuit and the circuit this will be replaced with a plain wire as a short circuit and this source will act alone and this we have to consider because it's a dependent voltage sorry dependent current source so now the resultant circuit will be like this 10 ampere is acting alone so we will get a circuit like this Remember we have shorted this 20 volt over here and the resultant circuit like this. So this will be Vx double dash by 2. This is 2 ohm, 5 ohm and 4 ohm and uh, Vx double dash will be like this just encircle this polarity to avoid a confusion here we are having a three meshes so three mesh currents i1 i2 and i3 which will develop the polarities like this plus minus plus minus because of i2 polarity will be like this for i3 plus minus plus minus now let's apply acl sorry let's apply kvl to mesh one so plus minus say minus 4i1 minus plus 
plus 4i3 plus minus minus 5i1 minus plus plus 5i2 equal to 0. Upon simplifying, we will get an equation as minus 9i1 plus 5i2 plus 4i3 equal to 0 equation number 1. Now over here, no need to apply KVL to mesh 2 because uh, only current source is present. So I can straight away say I2 is equal to Vx double dash upon 2. Yeah, but we need a substitution equation for this Vx double dash. So let's write it. Substitution equation If you see carefully, it is the same story that we have done for the previous case. So here I can write it directly Vx double dash as 5 times I1 minus I2. This won't be the case all the time. It is just a coincidence that absolutely no change as far as the substitution equation is concerned for the previous case and this case. So, if I substitute this over here, I will get I2 as 5 by 2 I1 minus I2. This implies whatever the equation we got in previous case as equation number 2, absolutely same equation we will get over here. So, it's a 2.5 5 I1 minus 3.5 I2 equal to 0 as equation number 2. And over here, once again in the mesh 3, there is a current source present. So once again, no need to apply KVL to that particular mesh. Straight away, I can say I3 is a current given by this current source. The only question over here is that I3 is in this direction and 10 ampere given in this direction. So it's a mismatching. So it is minus 10 as equation number 3. So we'll treat this as a equation number 3. Three equations, three unknowns, we'll get the value of I1, I2, I3. So we will get I1 as minus 7.3684 ampere. I2 as minus 5.2632 ampere and no need to write for I3 obviously it is minus 10 ampere but what we want we want Vx double dash nothing but 5 times I1 minus I2 so if I substitute the values of I1 and I2 I will get Vx double dash as minus 10.526 volt. So Vx dash is 5.263 and Vx double dash is minus 10.526. So totally the answer will be algebraic sum of these two voltages Vx dash plus Vx double dash. If I substitute the values of Vx dash and Vx double dash, I will get final value Vx as minus 5.263 volt. This is the final answer. I hope you understood the problem. Thank you.